without shooting the ball. I thought we had a good enough offensive night to pull away. So I'm pleased that I could rest so many guys the amount that I did because we know the games will get um, progressively more difficult. Questions? Sure looked like to me it was. Um, we have the ability to frustrate teams, make it hard for their best players. Our team did a great job of that tonight with uh, their best player, DK Martin. He didn't, um, he scored as many points tonight as I did. And uh, that's a credit to our team, not to just the individuals on our team, but to our team because we do um, our defensive thing as a team. And um, that was good. You know, we did a good job with their post-ups, I thought, for the most part. We uh, gave them three threes in a short period in the first half, which is what allowed them to uh, gain a little bit of confidence and get the score back close. But other than that one little flurry, we were dominant defensively, I thought. What did you guys do against Martin? You've seen him for three years now, and you see what he can do. What was it that you particularly wanted to do to him to take away his game? He's got another year left. <laughs> So we uh, do what we do. We focus on the best players and do what we do. And we had specific things that we wanted to do over and over again. And if you look at his performance against us over a long period of time, we've gotten better and better at executing that. You know, when you play a team for the third time, uh, they're able to make adjustments. Um, but we pride ourselves on our ability, you know, to utilize the intelligence of our players. And I thought uh, that was evident tonight in multiple ways, but especially in the way our team guarded Martin. Russ, you've talked in the past, and everybody knows about how this is a one-bid league, and the NCAA, the, only the winner is probably going to go to the NCAA tournament. Do you get a sense that your players' urgency kind of rises in relation to that? <laughs> what do you think? I think so, but I'd like you to say it so I can quote you. <laughs> I understand, um, and I don't like talking about that much. You know, as I said before, we have really committed and intelligent, intelligent players, and so we understand the reality we face. And everyone wants us to see that as pressure packed. But what I think our guys understand is that it's opportunity. We have an opportunity to play tomorrow night, and. We've approached each game this season that way. That's been effective for us. That takes great buy-in from the individual players, especially from the captains. Max is one of our captains, and we've had that. Um, so I don't think the story is about how many bids our league gets. For us, it's about what we have a chance to accomplish. With our shooting droughts, yeah. I mean, I mean, you're not going to shoot the ball well every night. And uh, I think that we had periods of this game where we shot the ball really well. I did think the game was very physical. And uh, that favors our defense in a lot of ways, so I'm not complaining. Um, we missed a lot of shots that, that maybe we can you know, normally make. Um, but we made enough of them. We made a lot more than they did. Um, you know, so I wasn't concerned. You know, in tournament basketball, it's not easy to make shots over and over again. I think the more comfortable we get, the more you know, normally we'll shoot. Bob? What's the status of uh, working with Edward? Could they have played Yes. So you Yeah, I've kept them out. I've, I've made the decision to keep them out. Um, that is a daily decision that, that I'm going to be faced with and communicate with them. And, uh, you know, we're, as a team, we understand we're going to continue to play not just tomorrow, but next week, either in the NSA tournament or the NIT. Uh, so we're managing all the information we have and uh, trying to make the best decisions we can. Gentlemen, speak into the microphone. Um, not necessarily. I mean, like Coach said, we have the opportunity to play college basketball tonight, and that was exciting for us. And the goal is to win three games in three days, and 
regardless of who's in the way, you know, we're going to focus on the game plan and try to get that done. Yeah, pretty, pretty much what he just said, you know, it's just another day, another opportunity to, you know, show what we can do, and that's play basketball. So it really doesn't matter who we're playing, but, um, you know, just as long as we're having fun out there. Anyone else? Bob? Well, I think that's the strength of this team is that we're a team and everybody on this team is, on any given night um, is going to be ready to play and they can all play well. They got here up to this point and they're always staying ready and that's a part of being on a really good team. So everybody just knows they have to be ready and prepared to play regardless of who's out there. We like our chances. Gentlemen, I think that's it. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. See you tomorrow.